Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am making a video on how to stop seeking validation from others. Now it's been a while because honestly, I have just been getting hit with this mercury retrograde and really just trying to heal and be in my feelings and kind of slow down a bit because I've been absolutely exhausted. But now I'm finally back and I wanna get on my usual Wednesday and Saturday schedule, especially now because some stuff with my other business is really starting to roll out now. So I would love to come back to my usual schedule. My parents never really supported or validated who I was. They always pushed me to do very good. My dance teachers always pushed me to do very good. My school teachers always pushed me to do very good, but no one ever really gave me the good job. It was always like, oh, you can do better. So I feel like it was really programmed in my brain to be a perfectionist and to constantly be trying harder and harder and nothing was ever good enough. Not for anybody else, but even just for myself, it was never good enough. I wanted to make this video on how to stop seeking validation because this is really like an inner child wound that I've had to constantly be working on and I still feel like I'm working on because when you're constantly feeling like you're not good enough or trying to seek validation from other people, which I used to do in relationships, on social media, in friendships, etc., you just are always feeling this emptiness and this lack and reiterating the story of being not good enough over and over again when the only person that needs to tell you that you're good enough and the only person that needs to validate you is you. Like always, timestamps are gonna be at the bottom of this video and let's just get started because I feel like this is gonna be a long one. Starting with number one, seeking validation keeps you in a victim mindset. So there are many different ways that we like to seek validation. That can be from people, that can be from social media likes and followers, it can be from money, it could be from our job, it can be from our family. And when we're constantly seeking validation or someone to tell us that we're good, we're basically taking all of our power, all of our self-worth, and giving it in the hands of others to judge. It's kind of like when Abby Lee Miller used to do that pyramid. Like it's hard when you do that in your own life to then see yourself on the bottom of the pyramid and not take it personally. Or even if somebody else is judging you, like if a teacher's grading your test or you didn't get a job and you feel like you're at the bottom of that pyramid like it's really hard not to be like oh my god I am completely worthless I'm not good enough I you know I'm not skilled enough at this I'm not pretty enough for that but the thing is is that people's perception of you has nothing to do with who you are you are not a piece of paper you are a human being the problem with us is when somebody tells us that we're number two or number eight we don't know how to separate the skill from the person that we are I recently just read this book about figure skating and this is like the perfect industry to kind of give you guys an example about when you're constantly being scored and judged a lot of these figure skaters end up taking that to heart they end up getting really down about themselves because of not scoring high enough or not getting a gold medal and they end up hating themselves when you're just not separating your skill from the person that you actually are what we need to understand is you're never going to be the best at anything someone is always going to be better than you someone is always going to perform better than you and that is completely okay if you were the best at something that would be really really boring because there would be no room for improvement and it would basically just be like a dead end skill, career, talent, whatever it is. We need to stop thinking that we are so horrible when somebody else is better than us or that we're not pretty if somebody else is prettier than us. Everyone has a different perception of what they think is good, skilled, who they think is attractive and who they don't. Like I might think someone's a very good writer and somebody else might think they're the worst writer they've ever read. But that has nothing to do with the writer. When we're told that we're not good and we take it that we're not good enough, we tend to quit things before they actually come to fruition. But how are you ever gonna get better at anything if you're constantly quitting all because somebody told you that you weren't that good at it? People need to honestly get thicker skin. Stop being sensitive. Stop, and use that as motivation to actually do well. Use that as motivation to learn and become one of the best at that skill. The thing is, is you can be bad at something or need improvement on something and still have self-worth. I don't think those two should be correlated at all. And it sucks because we do live in a society that likes to put us in a hierarchy that if you're more successful, you're suddenly worth more. And that is so far from the truth. I have met people who are very successful and number one, they hate themselves. And number two, some of them are awful people, like who cares about that? Seeking validation from other people puts you in a victim mindset because it makes you powerless with your own perception of yourself and it puts you out of control of your own life. You think that you don't have control over the decisions that you make because those decisions are controlled by how other people perceive you and that is a false narrative that you really need to learn how to break. The only perception that matters is what you think about yourself. Think of how many success stories you've heard about people going in and pitching a certain business idea and pitching a book or a 
whatever it may be and people tell them no and no and no and reject them you need to get comfortable with rejection if you just throw away everything the minute somebody tells you no or the minute somebody dumps you or the minute somebody you know doesn't want to be friends with you anymore or thinks you're not very good at this if you end up taking that mindset through everything you're never going to get better at anything you're always going to feel like other people are the ones controlling your life and the narrative of your life and that's not true you know sometimes you're just at the wrong destination you are not an accumulation of numbers and compliments you are an accumulation of how you make other people feel the world decided to flip upside down tomorrow and all the cities ended up going on fire and we all ended up falling into the sky I can promise you no one's going to be worried about what college you went to what job you have how many commas are in your bank account like we are all human beings we are all in the same playing field on earth and it is up to us to control our lives to control our emotions and the only perception of us that we need is the one that we have about ourselves we are our own worst critics and our worst enemies what someone has said to you probably once you have said to yourself thousands and thousands of times. I can guarantee you that what someone else has said to you is not even as bad as the things that you have said to yourself. So you need to learn how to be your own best friend and your own supporter and your own advocate before you start seeking it from other people. Think highly of yourself first. You need audacity to be in this world, otherwise you are literally going to crumble. Stop playing victim. I can tell you you're amazing a thousand times, but if you sit there and tell yourself you're not amazing every single day you wake up in the morning, you are going to continue to play the character in this world that's not amazing. The only person you have to blame for that is honestly yourself. Take responsibility for the pain that you cause in your own life. Step number two is nobody knows you and you don't know anybody. You never know people a hundred percent of the time because you don't know how somebody's going to act in every single situation that could play out in life. You only know how they're going to act based off of the previous situations that you guys have dealt with. But let's say you're with a guy and he's so great and he's secure and he's safety for you and then all of a sudden shit hits the fan and he's nowhere to be found. And this is not to scare you but this is to understand that you're never going to know anybody fully because you never know how people are going to react in certain situations and people don't know how you're going to react in certain situations. You don't even know how you're going to react in certain situations until they actually end up happening. You are the only person that knows if you're qualified for the job or not. You are the only person that's going to teach yourself the skills and you're the only person that's going to get you through the whole entire journey. I know it's nice to have people kind of hold our hand and support us and cheer us on, but when you don't have those people around, which most people actually don't, especially people who end up being very, very successful because they learn to bet on themselves because they know themselves and they know that what they are capable of, regardless of what other people have to say about it. If you decide to base your sense of self-worth on other people and their opinions and their beliefs about you, I guarantee you're not even going to start that thing in the first place. Other thing is people are going to look at you through the perception of their own beliefs and what they think about them. My parents look at me and project a lot of fear on me because of what they believe that they're capable of in their lives and they want to kind of not tear me down but I understand as I got older that it wasn't personal and like not accepting who I was like I, I really thought it was when I was little and it's more so just a projection of the fears that they have. That's really what it is. A lot of people are just projecting projecting fear on you. When I started my first business, so many people were unsupportive of me. I was literally so depressed in my room because I was like, oh my God, like, you know, I'm getting out of the party scene. I'm trying to do better for myself. And like, everyone hates me now. Like what is going on? But that's the thing is that people are only going to look at you. Number one, how they look at themselves. So I hate the thing that like, oh, you know, they treat you how they think about you. No, 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 no. They treat you how they think about themselves because I can look at people with the perception of love and kindness and forgiveness forgiveness. So if I'm capable of doing that, I already know that you're capable of doing that. And how I know this is because, you know, two people can live in a certain circumstance. Let's just say my breakup, for example. I can look at that breakup and see everything that I learned from that experience, be so grateful for the person and the experience, no matter how it ended, and look at everything through a lens of love. But let's just say, I don't really know how he's thinking about it, but let's say he's being like very miserable, very pessimistic, you know, hates me, puts the blame on me. How come two people live the same experience and yet think about it in two different ways? And that is very, very possible. And that really just comes down to who you are as a person and how you want to see things and how you want to grow and how you think about yourself. It's a lot easier to push your ideologies of yourself onto other people and project all those insecurities onto other people than it is to really look in the mirror and see like, damn, I actually think about this myself. Lastly, people can give a perception of themselves that is completely a lie. And I learned this by living in Miami. 
People lie, energy doesn't. So many people would come up to me in Miami and be like, I do this, I do that, I have this business, I drive this car, yada, yada, yada. Meanwhile, you see Miami rentals on the back of the car. Like, shut up. A lot of these people that come on social media and they try to flex this lifestyle, it's either A, all funded by somebody, God only knows where, or it's literally fake. Like, I know people in Miami who would go online, you know, take photos of things, go live this lifestyle for a day, one day, and have market content because the lifestyle sells and that's when people really need to use discernment like if I start posting Dubai Miami all these places all these exotic cars you know making making all this money and I'm like let me teach you how to do it by just wire me 10 grand like people fall for it like that it's a complete marketing tactic so you know people can give you a perception of something that's completely false and it's very scary but it happens way more often than you would think and when you try to get validation from other people especially Especially when you're lying and trying to portray something, you end up going home having to take off all your clown makeup and then sit there with yourself all empty and lonely wondering, damn, like being inauthentic causes loneliness. I will say that time and time again and being inauthentic causes depression. People think they're depressed because of other people and situations and you know how they think about themselves. No, you're depressed because you're being inauthentic to who you actually are. Number three is if you don't see yourself as a star, nobody else will. You're trying to sell me a business and you're like, yeah, it's horrible it actually does nothing for society I kind of hate it and I don't really think it's gonna be successful but you know here you go I'm literally gonna look at you like you have five heads how are you gonna convince somebody that you think you're beautiful you're innovative iconic when you don't actually think that about yourself. You want Joe Schmo down the block to tell you how amazing you are because you think that's somehow gonna make it better. You think if you get that job, you'll finally like yourself. You think if you make that amount of money, you'll finally like yourself. You think if you, you know, this person accepts you and loves you and comes back to you and you guys get in a relationship, you'll finally like yourself. And I hate to break it to you, but that is the biggest lie you can absolutely tell yourself. Cause you'll get all of those things. And I hope you do get all of those things because then you'll see how everything circles back and you'll see that even amongst all of these situations, experiences, money, people, whatever, you still don't like yourself. The issue with most people is they want the music contract without actually having to make music. They want the Grammy award, but they don't wanna put in all the work to actually get that. See yourself as a star, First. Stop coming on social media and trying to make it. If you don't already believe that you are that girl, nobody else out here is gonna believe it either. If you don't think your art is good, nobody else is gonna think it's good either. If you don't think your writing's good and worth being published, nobody else is gonna think it's good either. It all starts with you and what you think about you. Stop trying to sell yourself without seeing yourself as valuable first. I had to add this part in because it is so important, especially in today's society. But number four is stop basing your self-worth on money. Basing your self-worth on numbers is literally going to ruin your whole life. Because you know what? Numbers never end. The amount of followers, money you can have is absolutely endless. People think that by having more money, they're gonna be happier. And I'm not even gonna lie. Having more money makes life easier. It gives you freedom. But you know what? The house might be nicer. The car might be nicer. But you're still the same person. You are still the common denominator. So if you're using all those things to validate yourself, it's gonna be a split second and then you're on to the next. And you know what? You follow you wherever you go. It's exactly why people who have trouble in relationships that immediately get in other relationships then have trouble in those relationships is because they miss the lesson that you are actually the common denominator. You know, if you're not happy and you're in a relationship and then you're like, well, I'm gonna go in a new relationship to make me happy, you know, see if the grass is greener on the other side. And that's exactly why men always come back because they go, they go see if the grass is greener on the other side and then they realize that they're the common denominator about why they're actually miserable. A mansion can still be a prison. Let me just tell you, if you think that making money is going to make you happier, it is not going to. It is a very temporary dopamine hit that you will hopefully reach, honestly. We try to mask the emptiness that we feel inside by the amount of money we have and the amount of materials we have and the amount of followers we have, but that emptiness is still there because those things cannot fill the black hole in your soul. I will only be filled once you see yourself for your true authentic self once you see your self-worth 
money is not going to validate you. A Lambo is not going to validate you. It's not, people don't even care about those things as much as you think that they care about those things. This is exactly why a lot of Olympians end up getting very depressed after they won the gold, because that moment of winning gold is actually very short lived. Also why people end up going home and crying after the Oscars, because that moment of winning, that moment of winning that achievement, that award, that thing, that relationship, whatever, is very short lasting. It's such a dopamine hit, but you need this. The only thing that's going to be long lasting and give you the fulfillment that you are looking for and everything else is your own self-worth and self-value. Whatever you put before God ends up becoming your master. Money becomes your master. Fame becomes your master. That relationship becomes your master. Once you put your emotional state and your happiness in the hands of anybody else or anything else or your validation in the hands of anything else, I can promise you it will be dropped and shattered time and time again. Because those are the things that are not meant to withhold you. They're not meant to be sustainable. When it comes to relationships, I'm not saying that your relationships are not supposed to be long lasting because I think that's a very important trait and you should only focus on relationships that are long lasting. But I think when you believe that the relationship's going to make you happy, you're gonna realize that even in that relationship, you still feel alone. Validation based on money, I promise you, is the exact path to one happiness. Actual paper money is not going to make you happy. The experiences and your ability to help the world with that money is what will make you happy. Number five is stop comparing yourself to others. You are never going to be like anybody else and they are never going to be like you. If he left you for another girl, stop comparing yourself to her. She doesn't have something that you don't. She's not better than you. You are not her and she is not you and that is actually your superpower. If someone got the job over you, stop comparing your skills to them. It has nothing to do with whether or not you're worthy or skilled or not. You know, sometimes things are just not a good fit and we have to normalize things just not working out. I think we tend to get so in our heads about things not working out, but imagine how many opportunities have been thrown your way, how many relationships have been thrown your way and didn't work out. Like imagine if they all worked out, we would be so overwhelmed and overstimulated. We would not even be able to spread ourselves that thin. For my jealous girlies, what you judge in others, you actually judge about yourself. What you are pointing out in others is what you're actually secretly wanting for yourself and you believe that you don't have it. But the thing is, is you actually wouldn't recognize something in somebody else that you didn't have within yourself. Jealousy can be good sometimes because it guides us to what we care about and what we want in our lives. But a lot of people take that as, this person has something that I don't have and I clearly don't have the skills to actually get that. When people are just reflections of you know, what they believe about themselves. So if somebody else has something that you want and desire, let that just be living proof that what you want is attainable and true. Social media has made us believe that we should be living a thousand different lives different from the life that we're actually living. And this is honestly why I stopped going on social media so much because I don't need to know what people are up to. People don't really need to know what I'm up to. I don't even really post that much anymore except on YouTube. Who cares what other people are doing? You are not other people and they are not you. You need to focus on you. Stop focusing on other people so much. They don't matter. What are you gonna be sitting there twiddling your thumbs until you're 80 something years old? You're gonna miss your entire life when you're so focused on everybody else's life. The only thing you actually need is your peace and sanity because without those things, you can't do anything. Comparing yourself to others makes you look for outside validation. You think a girl is prettier than you, you end up doing things to try to make yourself prettier. And unfortunately for a lot of young girls, this ends up becoming promiscuity and that is a whole other conversation that I can have but it is a pattern that I have noticed when it comes to women specifically is that when they don't believe they're good enough they feel like they need to like hold themselves up I could say this because I was one of those girls at one point where I was like, oh, all these other girls are getting attention. Why am I not getting attention? So how can I do things that get me attention? That's why when I was in seventh grade, I was stuffing my bra with socks and paper towels being like, come on, push the girls up. And now I'm like, I don't want anyone to look at me. This is also why, no offense to the men, I just bat on this team. You cannot seek male validation. Like when, like I get it. Listen, you want the guy that you like to think that you're pretty. But the thing is, is so men a lot of men not all men before anyone comes after me but a lot of men they will literally stick it in a donut hole like why are you so stressed out if he thinks you're pretty or not like nobody cares lastly is you don't really know what other people are struggling with so there's no point comparing your life to them I could be posting you know all these photos traveling the world doing all this I was doing that when I was living in Miami and you know what I was absolutely miserable absolutely miserable and nobody knew 
literally nobody they're like how can you be miserable you're in ibiza i'm like okay well i'm literally having the worst time of my life so it doesn't even matter anyways we're all liars we lie every day we lie to people we lie about our kids we lie about our family we lie about everything okay because we're trying to appease other people but you have to be honest with yourself about where you are and understand that no matter what background you come from no matter what race you are no matter what gender you are no matter what sexuality you are no matter you know what you've accomplished what you've been awarded with how much money you make like we are all human. We are all in the same game together. Like, who really cares? Stop comparing yourself to other people and worrying so much about what others have that you believe that you don't have. Maybe you don't have a Lambo, but do you really think that Lambo is going to make you happy? Do you really think that Lambo is like the end all be all that you should be sitting in your room being like, oh my God, I failed at life because I can't drive this car. Like, Come on! I used to be super materialistic and think that what I was doing and my success and what I had would like make me worth more. And now I literally look at that stuff and I'm just like, I wasn't happy during those times. So what was it worth? Seriously. Like, and that's really why you don't understand what people are going on and what they're struggling with. And a lot of people that make it seem like they're living this life. Number one, it's a physical lie because a lot of that shit is not even real. And number two, it's an emotional lie because just because I'm living a certain life does not mean I'm fulfilled, does not mean that I'm happy. You know, just if someone's making a certain amount of money every year, that does not mean that they're happy at all. This is also why you shouldn't judge people because you don't know what's happening. So, you know, when you see people like the Kardashians and you're like oh my god like screw them they're living this life doing all this it's like you don't really know what goes on behind the scenes in that life like yeah you see what is being shown to us but a lot of people portray themselves differently than what's actually going on you really don't know what anyone's going through so that's why you should be kind and you should not compare yourself to other people because we're all liars. Number six is to learn to trust yourself. When we look for validation outside, we're looking for somebody to validate our ego. We're looking for someone to tell us the decision that we made is right. Looking for someone to knock some sense into us. We're looking for somebody to tell us that our outfit looks good. We're looking for somebody to tell us that we're actually better off without him. Looking to see if somebody still likes us. We're asking people so many questions and we're looking for validation on so many things. But at the end of the day, nobody knows the answers like you do. Nobody knows what's going to be good for you except for you. You might think you have a great idea and then everyone around you thinks you're absolutely insane and thinks you can't pull it off. And if you take those people's opinions, you are going to risk losing something that was put into your brain for a very specific reason. Start making people uncomfortable. Do not dim your light just to make other people feel more comfortable around you. If you have amazing ideas, share them with the world or honestly just keep them to yourselves until you actually pursue them. Or if you, you know, want to wear a crazy outfit or want to, you know, wear heels to the grocery store, like who cares? Why do you need validation from people to tell you that this is okay? This is your life. Like, do you really want to look back and be like, oh, well, I didn't do so many things because no one really supported me and, you know, people told me I wasn't that good at it and honestly, I was just scared because everybody told me no. Because you're going to be sitting there and honestly, this is why I say death will really put a lot in perspective. Like, when I was really going through the trenches of my breakup, I thought to myself, okay, if I was to die tomorrow, would I be worrying about this? Absolutely not. Therefore, if you're not worrying about it in your moment on your deathbed, you should not be worrying about it now. Other people's opinions of you, good or bad, has nothing to do with you and nothing to do with your self-worth. You need to trust in your own path because if you don't, nobody else is gonna trust in that path for you either. And sometimes it really takes you going against the grain to end up finding everything that's meant for you in the first place. And that is really the lesson in itself. That is the courage that you need to actually pursue things that are meant for you is stop listening to the outside noise. Nobody knows the answers like you do. If you think you could pull it off, you can. If you think you can't pull it off, then I'm sorry, but you can't. Overall, the outside world has no capacity to validate you. Therefore, looking for any validation outside of yourself is going to leave you into a very empty hole that you will have to then climb yourself out of time and time again. Trying to get validation from anybody or anything is literally taking all of your self-worth and your power, putting it in an envelope, sealing it up, and shipping it to Mars. All of our stories are going to look different because we are different people. We were handed a deck of different cards and different lessons that we have to learn and that is completely okay. Imagine if we were all clones of each other, how frightening that would be. I would be, no, absolutely not. People do things might look different and then end up to the same goal. Anything that I could do, you can do and vice versa. Some people have natural talent and some people have learned talent, but at the end of the day, they still have talent. You are the only person that can label yourself. You are the only person that can tell you what you can and cannot do. You are the only one that gets to measure your self-worth. You give other people the strength and power to tell you how much you should like yourself. 90% of people don't even like themselves. People say about you, 
has nothing to do with you. If someone tells you you're pretty, you can take that as truth or you can take it as lying. But at the end of the day, they still said the comment whether they meant it or not. Insecurity can't be healed from outside sources. It's why insecure people are the number one cheaters because they go out looking for validation from all other people. And that's why you shouldn't take cheating personally because honestly, these people don't like themselves. That's all you can take from insecurity is that you don't like yourself. You don't like a part of yourself. You don't think you're worthy enough. You don't think you're good enough. That's all. It's not a reflection of you at all how somebody else acts. You are not measured by your job, your money, your family, your accomplishments, nothing. You're not judged by anything besides the person that you are. Because at the end of the day, like I said before, it's all about how you make people feel. You can be a priest. And if you go into church every day and make people feel absolutely terrible, which trust me, I've met priests like this. And I'm like, do you feel good about yourself doing that? Like, I know you're saying it under the words of God. Oh, I, I can make a whole video about this. But honestly, yeah, if you go into work every day, you make everybody feel like shit. You're just not a good person, are you? But you know what? It's because you're miserable with your damn self. Nothing and no one can validate you. So stop trying to open the door of validation because you'll find nothing behind it. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I was very stern, but honestly, I feel like it kind of had to be in this video because I not only needed to talk to myself, but I feel like this really needs to get through people's heads. And sometimes this more like hard love approach, I feel like works better than me being like, oh, you don't like yourself, poor you. Poor you. Listen, I get it. I've had my confidence torn down by people, family, relationships, everything. But at the end of the day, the only person that's ever going to pick you up from a bad spot is you. The only person that's ever going to really validate you in anything is you. And until you learn that and understand that nobody is going to come save you, you know, people might come along and hold your hand on little, little steps along the way. But at the end of the day, you're going to be the one that gets yourself up there. So stop looking outside for people to tell you that you're attracted, that you're this and that, because... It's not gonna happen, and even if it does happen, if you don't believe that, you're gonna think, oh, they're just lying. They're just playing with me. Because trust me, I've done it too, where people are like, oh, you look good, and I don't think I look good, and I'm like, oh, whatever. So yeah, validation from anything outside of you is absolutely useless. This gave you guys the confidence boost that you needed, and I will be back with a video soon. Bye. That was better.